Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. We are here today to do some PlayStation VR 2 news. We're gonna talk about Synapse and also Crossfire Sierra Squad. Bit of info about Beat Saber and Zenith and Switchback VR and some other bits and bobs. So let's get started. Let's get small. Oh. Yeah, that's here. I decide on this corner. Right. So, first of all, we're gonna begin from Zenith, the last city. What's happening is the developer announced very happy news for many people. Last city, player versus player mode, PvP. Prepare for epic battles in the PSVR 2 MMO RPG. Of course, PSVR 1 support is kind of being ended. Anyway, the same Joe here from Ramen VR, who is the community manager. Our PlayStation VR 2 MMO RPG Zenith The Last City has its next major contact patch, Skyward Summit, on the horizon. And with that, we are bringing a host of new features to the game. Today, we are thrilled to announce that one of the features we will be introducing is player versus player PvP combat. We believe this feature will add a new layer of depth and excitement to Zenith. Players will now have the opportunity to test their skills against each other in a fun and engaging way. Challenge yourself with thrilling one-on-one -on -one and team duels that will test your skill and push you to the limit. With our unique class system, including the brand new Cyber Ninja class, you can explore an endless variety of playstyle and strategies while we are exploring additional options PvP in the future patches, so they still gonna be upgrading PvP. Skyward Summit's PvP will primarily focus on the implementation of one-on-one -on -one and team duels. We believe that you, you here you got some gifts from it. Anyway, we believe that in the addition of PvP in Zenith is a significant update that opens up new gameplay opportunities for players. We are excited to see how we'll explore new tactics, test their strategies and learn from their opponents. We are confident that PvP will provide a thrilling and engaging experience for our players. Alongside the highly anticipated PvP mode, we are excited to introduce brand new Cyber Ninja class and a host of their thrilling additions. From player housing to resource harvesting and crafting, this patch has it all. We can't wait for you to explore those exciting new systems and discover everything Skyward Summit has to offer. Mark your calendars, the Skyward Summit patch is projected to release in Q2 2023. Stay tuned for more information and get ready for the upcoming adventure. So yeah, you can have PvP and Cyber Ninja. Very nice. Hucha! Hucha! That's Ninja noises. Okay, now we've got a very short clip from Endrims here for the Synapse or Synapse. How you say Synapse? Synapse? Synopsis. This is the Synops. Comes exclusively to PSVR 2 in 2023. Harness your inner anti-hero. Become unstoppable. Okay, you're gonna be anti-hero uh, in this game. Uh, so, of course, this is the what they shared here. You can wishlist it. I got wishlisted, by the way. I don't think I don't. It's wishlisted. I just not signing here. Anyway, so what's, what they show this is... Uh, oh, wrong, wrong. This short clip, I just want to show it because you know what, we don't learn so much from this game. But look at that, it's so nice. Wow. Now listen, I know it's a short clip, but how great this in VR gonna feel and look. You must imagine yourself with your headset on and keep in mind that the PSVR 2 got amazing OLED HDR display. Some people saying it's not amazing, but it is. So yeah, that's Synapse. Just a short clip, I cannot wait for this game, it's one, one of my most anticipated ones. Okay, now moving on to the next story. The Dark Pictures Switchback VR version 1.5 is live. Do you want to see the patch notes? We're gonna click on them. So, patch download size is 460 megabytes and what is included? Stability fixes for various crashes in the game, including when choosing a level in level selects, when loading into a level cutscene, that crashes I experiencing, experienced when using continue in the main menu in specific circumstances. When opening the little boards, when a wrong missing scoreboard score is displayed at the end of the level, book reporting, the speech speechback, <laughs> switchback VR team has made great progress in their investigation into reported graphical and performance issues and are currently in the process of developing fixes for those. We hope to share news of another update very soon. While Switchback VR team continue to investigate reported issues and submitted player feedback, we encourage anyone affected by the issues to report to us via Zendesk portal. 
so many other requests here. Thank you. We appreciate your continued patient support and understanding our switchback via team continue their work, their issues. Reports. <coughs> we have. Sorry, I coughed. <coughs> now you all got coughs. We have received to our Zendesk portal have been very useful to the dev team when conducting their investigation, such as if you have taken the time to submit a report to us, description, blah, 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 blah. So they are thankful. So basically, now, what's going on here is there's going to be graphical update patch. If you had issues with graphics, I had terrible popping in some levels, like really terrible, like, you know, like quest, quest type popping. Uh, uh, you know, not, not something as I would expect from PSVR 2. I don't mean Quest 2, by the way. I mean Quest 1, you know, the ancient one. But yeah, anyway, speaking about Quest, Quest 3 coming, so that's nice, but we're gonna speak about Beat Saber, and that's maybe gonna be connected to Quest 3. I don't know, but anyway. Uh, this is what the, somebody said. They said, do you have plans to support Beat Saber on PSVR 2 by the end of this year? That's their setup for Beat Saber 2. And they say in, so yes, it's coming this year. At least we're gonna know that from here. We are super excited to see how much you are all wanting it. And the team is super hard at work on it. And totally understand all the questions. We can't wait to launch on PSVR 2 this year. Please give us some time for development and we will share more information when we're ready. I am day ready. I can't believe that uh, porting Beat Saber to PSVR 2 takes such a long time. No, I don't believe it. But maybe it is. I don't know. But you know what? I, I got feeling here, uh, you know. Now, Quest 3 coming, maybe Beat Saber gonna have significant graphical update as well. A big update that's gonna come to Quest 3 and PSVR 2. Maybe it's down to Sony, maybe they want it to come later. Maybe they're gonna have some sort of a big, big event. Maybe, Hope, I don't know. What's going on is, it's coming this year. Now, they saying this year is make me think that it's gonna be very late this year, so I wouldn't expect it anytime soon. But I might be wrong, but we see. But yeah, rest assured, it's happening soon. Now, screenshot time. Now, not much to talk about about Crossfire apart from this. One of the things we heard from players, we got an early look at Crossfire Sierra Squad at Game Developer Conference 2023, was that the shooting gallery decided to acquit soldiers with <coughs> weapons which I had COVID, that's why I'm coughing all the time now, with dozens of different weapons. Feel my pain, I'm a chef and can't taste, so when I cook, <laughs> I don't know what people are eating. <laughs> but anyway. It's great, training and a ton of fun to play around. Here's a slightly earlier view of the area, so that's your another screenshot from the game. This is your, this is your shooting range, I'm assuming that's somewhere weapons are and you're walking around it and using them and shooting. So there you go, that's your Crossfire Sierra Squad here. The game looking nice, uh, nice textures and everything, you know, not cartoonish at least, so uh, pleasantly pleased. So yeah, looking forward to it, there's like a car here to what you can explode, I think you could, that's your targets targets on this side, I don't know how it works, but yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, and now we're gonna have to go to the comments from the viewers, what we're doing at the end of the videos now, since I don't have time to reply to all the comments. But anyway, this is regarding the dream support, because it was sad news. Sad news. So, VGA Port Authority says, not gonna lie, the majority of the excitement for PSVR 2 rested on the possibilities of Dream's PS5 PSVR 2 version. I must say, I was looking forward to it as well. To see what people create with, you know, more resources. But sad times. Now I'm just disillusioned by this illusion by the whole platform. The sweet spot is too small to use it for first person games. Because I have to correct headset on my head <coughs> every time I turn my head quickly. And you know what? As much as I love PSVR 2, the sweet spot is very small. You cannot argue that. The sweet spot is very actually annoying and I feel your pain. Anyway, I think I'm just going to bring my PSVR 2 into my bedroom and set up cockpit and just use it for GT7. Literally nothing on the horizon that excites me due to the standing games being so clunky with the sweet spot. And uh, I mean, I still can play standing games, you know, I'm not that bad with the sweet spot, but I can see why people can have some issues. And the... <coughs> I'm not gonna manage to finish the video. Anyway. And there aren't any seated games on the way either, aside from War Thunder spin-off, which I will also play in my cockpit, lots all reason to keep the PSVR 2 and PS5 in living room. Now, War Thunder spin-off and also Project Wingman is coming. I'm assuming F1 2023 supports VR, that's listed on Steam, so hopefully it will support VR on PC. We've got this uh, 22 racing series game as well. 
So there is some cockpit games, uh, you know, Ultra Wings 2 coming as well. So do not worry, there is some cockpit games. The ever lovely Abby Hep left Media Molecule about two weeks ago. She was a higher up on the live service side of Dreams and her leaving was a really bad sign. She seems incredibly sad about how Dreams ended up. Love you, Abby. Thanks for all the years of positivity and smiles. Hope you find somewhere else to flash your skills. I'm absolutely devastated by this new Snow Creative Tools worth using on any VR platform right now. And that makes me feel bad. Rec Room and Neos toolset are pure trash compared to Dreams. Well, Dreams is like the most advanced, I think. So yeah, I can understand. Like going from Dreams being the equivalent of oil painting with wonderful paintings and brushes to the rest of the creative tools. <coughs> and uh, out there, which are just drowning in the sand with a bendy stick in comparison. Rubbish. Absolutely trash. Rec Room has XI existed for twice as long as Dreams and the tools in Rec Room are all but abundant. And they're not even 10% of Dreams has. And they're less intuitive. And that's a team that has damn near limitless money at this point, still garbage tools. Minecraft has better toolset for creating worlds than Rec Room and you just placing blocks in Minecraft, still better. What a horrible sign for the future of PSVR 2. My hopes and excitement for PSVR 2 went from 95 to 25% in one day. But hey, maybe Sony will announce a new game at some point. Maybe at Summer Game Fest they'll announce a game or two. Maybe a couple of flat games for the PS5. Sounds doubtful, seeing as both flat PS5 and PSVR has nothing worth chilling about on the horizon. Now we have to speak about that. First of all, Sony not announcing stuff. And also PlayStation being kind of soft launch. I think it is a lot to do with their, them having the legal battle with Microsoft and Activision, uh, them, Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard. So Sony kind of downplays everything, even though the 50% of consoles here sold in UK uh, in the first quarter of this year was PS5, over 50%. So everyone buys it. There is plenty on the horizon what's probably not announced. <coughs> Uh, and like I said, once the deal of Microsoft and uh, Microsoft buys Activision Blizzard, which will happen, by the way, I cannot see it not happening. I think then we're gonna start seeing more from Sony. PSVR 2 definitely seems like a soft launch. I can see that uh, people losing hope for Sony because the headset released and it's kind of there. Uh, so indie developers releasing their games, but what Sony is doing? We don't hear nothing yet. So we have to wait and see. So there is some more comments of, about the Dreams. <coughs> Jason here, when Dreams didn't get a proper PS5 upgrade, I won't worry, they originally had a 7 to 10 year plan for it, but I guess it's all changed. I enjoyed being the creator and making assets for the community, but this news, it was very confusing. I agree. So a lot of comments was, uh, I'm very sad about Dreams, Dragon's Eye 76 here. That game has an incredible community. So a lot of you was saying how sad you are about the dreams, by the way, thanks for nice comments. I cannot reply to them now um, in my, you know, analytics here in YouTube comments, but I try to read them at the end of the videos for those of you who want to stay and just listen to that. But anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Sorry for keep coughing. I, I just cannot help it. I cannot try to record the same video five times. I just got to cough over it. Um, sorry. But anyway. That's it for today. Big, big shout out to all the patrons. They're scrolling down there at the bottom. You are all awesome. And that's it. Bye, 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 bye.